Hi, this is Melina. Let's take a look at these variety of Adenium obesum desert roses. They're native to South Africa and they look really stunning in these different handcrafted containers. This is a more shallow container because the roots are shallow and we can raise this codex so you can see how that will look like in nature. It looks really beautiful in the, with these staging rocks. Here we have one that's a blooming Adenium obesum desert rose and this one is in more of a canoe shaped container. So it really changes the look and has pretty pink blossoms. They can get up to six feet tall or more in nature, but if you keep in the container, they can get about two to three feet tall. Here's another one that's in a nice bowl handcrafted container. It says do not water. Um, it's important to not overwater desert roses, especially after we transplanted them. So you want to protect it so this stays nice and firm and not soggy. These thrive best outdoors in filter light and water only when the soil is dry. Sometimes we water it once a week, especially when it's very warm here in the summer in California. But you want to check your climate and the zone and make sure that you're watering correctly according to your climate and according to the zone uh, wh where you live. These thrive best when it's around 60 degrees and up. They are cold and frosted for a very short period of time, but it's best to actually cover it uh, when it gets cold for a long period, um, especially when it gets down below 35. So you want to cover with a frost cloth, or you can bring it where it's under a covered patio. Let me show you some more of these beautiful desert roses here. This is a beautiful bright red blooming desert rose. Nice shape here with the two stems coming out. Let me show you some more. So you can take a look at all of our variety of desert roses and beautiful handcrafted pottery. Thanks for watching.